Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, Fedora 38 is out, and this video is going to be showing you what's new in Fedora 38. Now, to download it, you go down here, hit download now. You can also see that there's other versions that you could grab, including Fedora Spins, Fedora Labs, and Fedora Alt Downloads. I am going to show you the Fedora Spins, because there's two new ones, which is Sway and Budgie, and of course, a Tiling Manager. Anyway, we have it installed and ready to go right here, right now, and showing you what's new first off is the fact that we have a bluetooth drop down menu which allows you to sync up all your bluetooth devices here without needing to go into settings heading into settings drops us down to the about menu as you could see linux 6.2.9 is the newest kernel there might be a newer one i've not updated yet we are on wayland and gnome 44. gnome 44 has some cool features as i said the bluetooth menu is now expandable but if we click list view we can now expand into a list for folders and see all the contents and objects inside. Hi, I'm expandable. We head into pictures. You can now see that we have thumbnails for our individual images. That took 18 years. And if we head out of there, Sway, uh, is as I already mentioned Sway, sorry, my bad. Mesa is now version 23. Ruby has been updated. PHP has been updated along with GCC and LLVM. So LLVM is version 16 and I don't remember. I think GCC is version 12. I don't have the notes up in front of me, but yeah, there it is. Now, for those who are wondering about if your extensions are working, mine are fine. I did have to compile just one of them. I'm gonna turn this all back on. And as you can see, I have my regular old GNOME setup going. So arc menu, blur my shell, dash to dock, extensions list, just perfection, quick settings tweaker, and tray icons reloaded. And honestly, I kept background logo on because it looks kind of cool and it lets people know you're on Fedora. And honestly, that is all that's new inside of Fedora 38. There is one other thing. When you boot the live environment ISO, you'll be greeted with a new little thing that pops up that says, do you want to install now or install later? So it's basically a try it out type thing anyway with that don't forget to subscribe and if you did thank you very much hit that like video hit the like button on the video and i will see you guys next time